Custom Charts for Jira is an easy to use, powerful reporting tool for your dashboards. Here's an example of some that I made earlier, but now we're gonna go through how you can make those yourself. So starting on a dashboard, you can add a new gadget. And you can see here, you've got the option straight away, Custom Charts for Jira. And you also have Custom Chart Simple Search, which we'll look at as well. So we're gonna add that to the dashboard and just expand it to make it full screen. Okay, so straight away we get this splash screen, this, this instruction set that will help us use the app if we've never seen it before. So we can click through here and see exactly how to use all the features, how to find and search for issues, links directly to all the documentation. Here again, the different ways to pull in data to the charts and all the instructions on how to actually use the features. This is great if you only make charts every so often, you want to be able to remember how to use all the features. You don't need to jump onto YouTube or go into documentation. It's all here built straight into the app. Okay, so let's build a chart. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use a save filter. We have the options to use advanced JQL or pull in from a simple search gadget. But for now, we're gonna start with uh, the saved filters and we're gonna pull in just all issues in Project Unicorn in this case. Okay, great. So now we've got the option to select our chart by, and we're going to select the statistic of status because that's what we want for this. Okay, simple. We've got the chart here. We're able to set the colors if we'd like something a little bit different for this. But this is only the, the first step in what we're going to be doing. So this is a one dimensional chart by status, but what we actually want for this is a two dimensional chart because we want to show it by assignee as well. So we're going to jump onto a stacked bar chart over here. And now we're going to select assignee as the second, second data set. Okay, great. Now we can see we've got over here the group by, we can change the colors if we want of the different assignees and see that in the table here. Really quick and easy to make. So now we're going to say status by assignee for the, for the chart title. Simple and easy to use. Now let's look at some more of the customization options we have available. So right now the chart's defaulting to big to small, uh, but we also have the option to drag and drop these around. So say we want done to be at the bottom um, and we want it to go in progress. So in this case, we might not be that interested in seeing things that are closed. We don't need to see those on our chart. So to get rid of those, we can just click the hide button here and now it's gone. We know that there are actually some other statuses in this project. We know that there's in review, it's just not showing up right now. So we're gonna add that to the chart. And there you go, you can see it coming up in the suggestions, in review, and we want it to be there. Now in this case, we're showing it, but you can also hide it, so it will only show up, the show zero count will only appear when actually that, that status will only appear when it has data. Okay, so other options, you can merge things together. So we've got to do, but we also know open is gonna be a status as well. So we can add an option here, and we're gonna add open. And there you go, that's grouped those together. So to do and open will come together here. And if we rename this just by clicking on the pencil button there, we can call this backlog. There we go. So now you can see you've grouped and renamed multiple statuses together. You have your chart in a process flow as you, as you do the work. And you can show and hide data as and when you need it. If we look at some of the display options as well, we can change and customize what you see here. If we don't want to see the total under the chart, we can get rid of that as well. And we can, if we don't want to see the percent, we can just see the absolute numbers. So before we save this chart, I'll just show you um, some other options here. So you've got the count. So count at the moment is just by issues, but we can also count by a number of other statistics. So we've got story points, which is really useful if you're trying to chart uh, get an idea of your velocity or your team's capacity in a particular sprint. And you've also got time estimates. So if you look at time spent, you can see, okay, all the time is spent in the backlog in this case, which might say that you've got a problem or at least show you where your time is, is being allocated. Also any number fields. So any number fields in Jira, including scripted fields with script runner and other add-ons um, are also supported. So you can chart and use this as a calculator for anything you need. Okay, so that's us done. We're gonna save that now. And there you go, that's our chart. That's our first chart we've made. Uh, the second chart I wanna show you quickly is gonna be just a work log, uh, a rag status pie chart. So again, we're gonna have pie chart here and we're going to, again, use Project Unicorn, but this time we're gonna go for rag. So we have a custom field called rag with values of red, amber, green. 
Now, it doesn't come up by default with the different colors, but we know what we want. So we know we want this to be red. We know we want green to be green, which is helpful. And amber, we can select it from here. Or if we have a preference of a slightly more uh, radioactive color, we can also pick it uh, using the color picker here. There we go. So this is the rag status for Project Unicorn. And there we go. So if I save that now, you can see we have our two charts. So what I'm going to do is move this across to here and show you how the simple search gadget works. So if I add the simple search gadget now to the dashboard, um, I'll just leave it as it is um, and select Project Unicorn, uh, Unicorn to get started. And then I'll save it. Okay, so now what you have is a simple search gadget which finds issues based on this JQL filter. If we search for other values, you can see it found, no, if we search for T, sorry, there you go. It's now found some more values. Okay, great, so how do we connect these to the charts? Well, it's really simple. You jump onto the chart and under, you click simple search as your issue source. And you can see there the gadget unique ID matches up. You can have multiple ones on the same dashboard, but we're just gonna select the one that is here. And we're gonna do that for both the, both the charts that we have now. Simple search gadget, select it and save it. And there you go. So now the difference is this. If we reset this search back to the start, this is how we had it. But now if we want to only show issues by a particular assignee, for example, Carol Danvers in this case, when we search, we can now see, okay, those are all of Carol's issues and these are the issues in different RAG statuses specifically for her. And this will keep updating whenever we make a change. All the charts, you can see, they quickly reload and you've got a dynamic issue searcher. If you want a slightly more advanced feature, you can edit the JQL directly and type in with autocomplete status category. In this case, status category is done and we can see that as well. So if you want a bit more control, you can use custom JQL. So the final thing to say on this is that you do have some additional customization options if what you've seen so far isn't enough for you. So in this case, if we didn't have status but we wanted to make more, um, we can try custom JQL. And this actually allows you to create anything you anything you can write with JQL, you can now create and design segments for. So let's see how this would work. So uh, just in this example, we're gonna keep it simple and just use status category. Status category is good to do. And we're going to do in progress. And done in this case. Now, it's not showing up with any data because of the, the simple search. But there you go. You can see how this works now. And then if we jump back to here and reset the search, this is now using JQL, as you can see, which means that anything you can write a query for, you can also make a chart for. And that works in multiple dimensions. So that was a quick overview of custom charts. I'll also show you that there's um, a few customization options in the admin menu as well. So if you jump into the admin settings, you can pre-select the default colors. And there's also the option for colorblind accessible colors, as you can see here. Just make them a bit more vibrant and select those yourself. And there's a number of performance op options that are worth looking at. For example, the, the default maximums for limiting number of issues that are loaded on a chart. It's set to 20,000 and these are your options. And you can also change the global refresh interval for any charts you have to control the load on your system. Okay, so that's custom charts for Jira. Thanks very much.